Hello and welcome back to Fresh Perspective where we'll take another look at life. Um, imagine you and your spouse get invited for dinner. So you are having dinner with this couple and you start noticing some tension between them. Sarcastic comments, jokes with a bit of sting in it. And after a while it escalates to the point where they are actually shouting at one another. So you are sitting there uh, witnessing this fight, what do you think you'll feel? Uh, you'll probably agree with me that that'll depend on your experience. Um, you may feel a number of things. I want to list some things that you might feel in that situation. Maybe you'll feel offended. Maybe you'll feel calm. Maybe you'll feel relieved. Whatever you feel in that moment will be determined by your past experiences. So let's look at just these three examples. You'll, maybe you'll feel offended because you feel like they are disrespecting you and you would just want to leave. Um, maybe you'll feel relieved because you and your partner, uh, you've done the same thing. You've had people over for dinner, started fighting and really couldn't help yourself. Or uh, you feel relieved because you know you do that too. You fight like that too and you don't feel like you're that weird or extreme anymore. Maybe you'll feel calm. And this can go many ways. You'll feel calm because uh, you grew up in a house where your parents did the same thing. So it doesn't worry you that much. You're used to it. You grew up this way. Um, and it seems normal to you. It doesn't cause anxiety for you. But you might also feel responsible in that moment. Because maybe you were the peacemaker in your house. So when your parents had a fight, you felt responsible for mending that relationship, getting them to talk again. Maybe... Um, you had to make some jokes to lighten the atmosphere after a while. Whatever it might be, you felt responsible to fix that. So that might be what you feel in that situation with this couple. You'll want to try and fix it. And it all depends. The, the kind of emotion you experience in that situation, the pain you experience in that situation is subjective or subjected to your point of view, how you see that conflict, what you think of that type of um, uh, behavior. It's subject to whatever you experienced in the past. Um, and that's why I believe that pain can only be um, subjective. Sometimes we think when we have an argument with our spouse, maybe you've done this, you think that you are being very rational looking at their complaint or their frustration and you think you are very rational and objective because you are looking at it without any emotion. So you're just trying to unpack the facts and this happened and that happened and that's why you shouldn't feel this way or whatever. But what I want you to really understand is that even that is subjective to your point of view. It's you see it that way, you understand it that way because that pain of your partner, you've subjected to the way you see the world, your paradigm. And it's actually a very irrational way to try and deal with conflict because it's just about your point of view. So in order to fully understand your partner to deal with conflict, you have to subject your point of view to that of your partners. So you can feel their pain, their frustration in the way that they do. I believe this is the only rational way to deal with conflict and actually learn from it. So once you decide that you will subject your point of view to that of your partners, then and only then you can feel empathy. Because now you see what they see, you understand their frustration through their viewpoint, their paradigm. And sometimes we think, no, I don't want to do that because 
uh, they are being irrational or whatever, but please understand that it's because you are subjecting this frustration to your point of view. Once you subject it to your partner's point of view, then you can start feeling the empathy. So uh, the objectivity of pain, thinking that you can experience or see pain objectively uh, is a myth. It's not true. Because whatever you think of that situation, that pain, that frustration, or that couple that, that's fighting will be subject to your past experiences or your paradigm. So uh, I hope this uh, helps you reflect a bit on your relationship. Because if you think about it, maybe you realize that you have some issues that keep reoccurring. You've got the same kind of frustration that comes up over and over again. And it seems like you're not getting through to your partner. You keep on explaining why they shouldn't feel this way or act this way or think this or whatever. And they keep on repeating that behavior. Maybe it's because you haven't allowed their frustration, their pain to affect you. Because you haven't subjected your point of view to theirs. So you're not feeling empathy. You're still only communicating, viewing it, understanding it, analyzing it from your point of view. So if you think about it, do you notice frustrations or conflict like that? And will it be possible for you to try and subject your point of view to that of your partners? To subjectively feel their pain because you've subjected, you've subjected your um, point of view to this. Um, I hope you are brave enough to try this and uh, see the difference that it makes. And once you know how to do that, you also understand how you can help your partner to see your point of view, to communicate in a way that helps them subject their point of view to yours. I hope this uh, makes sense and helps you. Uh, I'll see you again next time.